Sometimes people get lazy on the issue of the salah and the prayer and they think, well, you know, I just leave it. We all do it. I, I myself am guilty of this. But I just want to tell you one incident that still even relating this makes my hairs on my, end, on, on my back stand up. We were held, I was taken into US military custody and taken onto a C-130 transport plane. There were flashes of cameras. American soldiers were punching and kicking us. We had bags over our heads and we were shackled with our hands behind our backs. Onto the airplane we were seated and straps put across our legs and our legs were also shackled. At this point, I know the roar of the engines and the scream of the soldiers cursing us in every new Arabic word that they'd learnt. There was a sound to the left of me. He said, Akhi, salam alaikum. I said, wa alaikum as salam. He said, Akhi, hal salayt salat al-maghrib? Adunnu salat al-maghrib dakhal. He said, have you prayed salat al-maghrib? Because I think the salat, the salat time has come. I have to tell you, at this time, I had forgotten about the Salah. The last thing in my mind was Salah. I, the thing in my mind was, am I going to live or am I going to die? But there was this angel in human form sent right next to me to remind me, Inna salata kanal kitab that prayer time has been fixed at its specific times. And so in this way, with my hands behind my back and my legs forward and my head hooded and guns and knives pointed at our necks, this brother began, Allahu Akbar. So you see, people ask this question, did the Americans ever let you pray? And I laugh and say they could never have stopped us.